Hi there, welcome to Mark My Words, where we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. It's been a minute, but I just wanted to jump on today to give you some encouragement as we round out this crazy year. And these principles apply whether you're facing into overcoming a serious life setback or whether you're now on your journey and you're through the valley and you're coming up the other side and rebuilding your world. You know, it's not an easy journey. There's no magic pill, but it is possible to rebuild your life far beyond what you had prior to when your setback happened to you. You know, some things will never be the same again, and that's the truth of it. But the truth is you can, can, you can rebuild in a way that is a much more uh, dynamic, effective, powerful version of yourself, which then leads into a much more broader, more exciting life for your future self. But let's let's look, let's just reflect a little about the last year or two. You know, this has been a crazy period of time and I guess all of us have coped in our own way. But the truth is that the message or the the challenge doesn't get any bigger, but we can we can decide to, right? So the basic thing is when you're rebuilding your world after a marriage and or financial collapse, which in my case both happened, you know, you can rebuild, um, you know, to a point where you can land in a place that you want to land in. What happened to you was unfair. What happened to you was wrong. What happened to you was potentially a situation where you didn't deserve it, right? But the reality of it is, you can't go back. You can't change what's happened to you. So what do we do? How do we think about the future? This time of year is a great time to reflect and to plan ahead. And when I talk to people about them rebuilding their life, and in certainly in my case, when I rebuilt mine, I just had to get white, white heat focused on my future. Your future is more exciting than your past. In fact, if your past is more exciting than your future, you're a has-been, right? And we know that you're not a has-been. I promise you, you're not. So being really intentional around having the courage, and I say having the courage because it takes courage, it takes guts to actually sit down and plan out a desired life for yourself when you actually perhaps don't have any way to achieve it. It's actually back to front thinking to work out what you want first and then be really specific around it before you actually have the way or the vehicle or, or the means by which it's going to happen. You know, traditional thinking says, oh, when I find the way to make it happen, I'll figure out what I want then. And that's logical, that's rational, right? But it is possible to think a different way. It is possible to actually plan out what you want across the key areas of your life. And I talk about the five key areas. And for me, there was five. When I was rebuilding, I had to keep it really simple because I'm a simple guy. And I wanted to really get clear and specific around five key areas. And they were my faith, my family, my fitness, my finance, and my fun. Same with you. What's your faith like going to look like in five years from now? What's your fitness life, your fit, your financial life, your fun life, and your family life going to look like in five years from now? What's it going to look like, like this time next year, right? You can decide that. You have to decide that now before you actually get there then. If you don't decide it now, this time next year, not much will change, and you don't want that, right? So to make radical change in your life, for me, I had to discover the power of having the courage to write down what I wanted and be really specific across those five key areas of life. So then once you do that, it's amazing as you start to then think about those five key areas in emotional terms. And in fact, they have to be emotional, right? Find a why that makes you cry. What's your dream? You know, you probably done enough crying in the last little while through your, you know, your setback. You'll get to a point where you realize, you know what, stuff it, I can't camp here for any longer than I'm actually camping here. I have to rebuild my life. I have people in my world that need me to be the best version of myself. So what can I control? What can I master? And for me, it was just really about, firstly, defining what I wanted in those five key areas. Secondly, start to really prepare myself for when that day came. So what does that look like? Basically, it's a matter of now watching how I 
program this piece of real estate between my ears. That piece of real estate between your ears is the, is the make or break point for you moving forward, right? Now, you, you, you might be, like in my case, I, I just I was hounded and, and, and continually tormented by the past because what I felt was, or what I had back then was so good and I didn't ever think I could ever have, it, have that again. But what I, what I had to realize, what I came to that place where I realized that, you know what, I'm going to build it bigger. I'm going to rebuild my life bigger than what I had before, better than what I had before. I'm going to reinvent myself. I'm going to take this opportunity to start with a fresh slate, a clean slate, and go beyond where I was before, even though at the time I had no way of making that happen. So the key is here, if you can emotionally immerse yourself in what you do want, not in what you don't want, but in what you do want, okay? Have the courage to do it. It's, ir- it's irrational in some ways to think this way. But if you really immerse in what you do want, then what happens is as you start to begin to take the steps forward, the opportunities to see it realized in your world will come to pass. Those opportunities to you know, connect with the right people, to build an opportunity, maybe a business or a career, which is far beyond what you ever thought you could even dream possible before. But, you know, it's it's not logical to do this when you are starting from zero. Like in my case, at 42 years of age, I started at zero. And it was almost like insanity to think I could achieve a bigger life than what I had, particularly when I'd come off such a radical financial and emotional cliff, <laughs> you know. But I just had to, I knew why, the way I was thinking and dwelling in the past wasn't working for me. It was keeping me down. It was keeping me flattened. So can I encourage you to have the courage to be really, really specific about what you do want, write it down on paper, get pictures of it, stick it up everywhere, right? And just look at it every day, visualize it every day, and you'll find 2022 and beyond will become such a turnaround point for you. It'll become such a breakthrough opportunity for you, a breakthrough year, right? The real estate between your ears is so important. What you read, what you listen to, and who you associate with, those three key areas of influence in your world uh, will have such an impact on your physical, mental, spiritual health moving forward. I know that you can do it. I know that if you click on the links below, I've got some material there that I believe can help you, right? One of them is my 10 breakthrough steps. These are 10 breakthrough steps that I took that helped me massively rebuild my world after my marriage and business collapse. They're yours today free. Click on the link. I will ask you for your email address. I'll be able to then email those straight to you. So until next time, stay safe, stay strong, and look forward to seeing you on the next video.